Hi, this is Info Puppet, and you are absolutely going to not believe how easy it is to create your own personalized business cards. You are absolutely going to love my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Photoshop Elements 12 has opened up, this worked fine in Photoshop Elements 10 and Photoshop Elements 11. We are going to File, New, and Blank File. And the first thing that we need to do is change pixels to inches if it's not already there. And we want the width to be 3.62 inches and the height to be 2.12. The color white and resolution 300. Now I'm going to click OK and our new window will open up. I know it looks bigger than a business card, but just trust me. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to View and Rulers. Gotta get some rulers here. Okay, see the rulers, just left click, hold and drag, and you'll draw this guide onto the screen. Now we're gonna put it right at two inches because the actual width of a business card is three and a half inches by two inches. Well, how are we gonna find three and a half? Well, here's two, two and a quarter, two and a half, two and three quarter, and three. So this is three and a quarter, there's three and a half. Okay, the first two big lines past the three. Get over it! I know you're not good at fractions! Neither am I! Alright, so what we're looking at right now, for you to understand, is whatever's in the area where the blue guides are is the business card. Outside of that is what we call the bleed area. And to explain it easier, uh, basically the machine's going to cut right around where the blue guides are. Okay? So, but we can't really leave them like this. We have to even them out. So here's what we're going to do. Oh, are we going to do more math? I can't stand more math. See, there's four notches here. One, two, three, four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this side and I'm going to drag out another guide. Left click, hold, and drag is what I did. Two notches. So I'm going to bring this back two notches. Okay? Same thing here. I'm going to take this guide and bring it back two notches. One, two. All right. And I'm going to bring another guide here out two notches. So we really still have exactly the same area. If you guys aren't good with fractions, I'll just say this. All the guides are two notches from the end. Got it? All right. So what we're going to do now is let's go ahead and first we're going to put a picture of yourself on the business card. Now it's just a regular picture, but I'm going to show you the quick, easy way to do this. We're going to add a layer mask. We're going to get rid of this original. We don't need it anymore. Now let's go to the toolbar. Now, if you don't have black and white showing down here, click on this button. And if white's not on top, click on these curved arrows. All right, now we're going to select the gradient tool. And we're going to select, well, we're going to make sure that we have radial, not linear. And radial's right here. Okay, now we're going to click on the edit button. And what we're going to do is click on the first preset and then select OK. She's so beautiful. All right. Now I'm just left clicking, holding, and dragging, and that looks okay, but I'm going to hit undo and try it one more time. Just left clicking, holding, and dragging. That looks great! I love it! Okay, now I just grab the move tool. I'm going to resize this. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to go and, and we're going to create a new layer. And I selected the pencil tool. Yes, I'm crazy. I'm drawing with a pencil on a business card. Now, if you hold the shift key down and you draw it, it'll be exactly straight, horizontally straight. So there is my line. Now I'm going to select the move tool and just reposition this a little bit. That looks pretty good. All right. Now we're going to select the text tool, the horizontal text tool. And I'm going to go with eight points for my font. And I'm just going to start typing. Let's just make up a name here. Oh, wait, wait, why isn't it working? Info Puppet's horrible. Well, it's because the color is white and the background's white, so we're changing it to black. All right, Lori Atwell. And then I'm going to grab the text tool again, and I'm going to type again. I just type up a fake number. The reason why I'm doing this is sometimes, depending on the font you use, if you keep texting and just hit return, 
uh, the lines might be too wide, separated, too much space. So that's why I keep using the text tool over and over. Now, I just drew a square, and that represents a logo. Um, there's no logo here, but if you have a logo, you probably want to put it where that black square is. Now we're naming the company, Dispenser Corporation and Leading Edge Technology. All right, we're gonna put the website down here, www.dispensercorporation.com, what are the odds? And let's put the address above the website. 1312 Main Street, Anytown, USA. It's my favorite place in the world. Okay, doesn't the card look great? Not. We have to align everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this guy and I'm going to use it to align the text here. But I got to get this thing aligned left. So I'm going to click on the align left button. There you go. Okay, now we're just going to move this thing over. And the website's over. Lori and her phone number, I'm just going to center. And I'm using the guide again to line up the name of the company and their slogan. Now I'm going to put the guide back. Okay, looks pretty good. Well, oh, I know what I want to do. I want to line this up a little bit. I want to line everything up, the logo and the text. So, okay, I just put the guide back. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick here. If you hold the shift key down and select all of your different layers, you can easily move your business card and center it. Now I'm going to move this and just center it on my canvas. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just move this line a little bit. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's go to File, Save As, and I want to call this My Business Card 333. Alright, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a browser. Now we're going to go to Google and then we're going to type in vistaprint.com. Okay, and we're going to go right to this website. And what I want you to do when you get here is click on business cards. All right, then down here at the bottom you have three choices you have standard, signature, and ultra thick. I'm just going to click on standard. Now we're just going to click on use your complete design because we're using our design and then I'm going to click on horizontal and continue and now we're going to click on choose file all we got to do now is find our file and there it is right there my business card 333 select choose and boom look at that All right, now we're just gonna click on next. And you can see everything's in the uh, inside area, not in the bleed area where it shouldn't be. Now here is where you can add a back to your card if you want to, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna click on next. And there it is, look at that, it's so awesome. All right, then uh, you click on next and it's gonna ask you to approve the design. Now guys, I'm telling you, you know, if you click on the link below, there's the approve button right there. I'd appreciate it because they do throw me a little thing if I if you sign up with my link, and I certainly could use it. But there's our card again. Thank you so much. Leave a comment below. Look for the link to that website below this YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching from Info Puppet.